Hello, once again, audience. If you know this reference, you are freaking old as hell. Anyways, today I, your host Obama once again, and my co-host Joe, and, um, Joe, where is Trump? Don't you know Obama? He was arrested a couple of weeks ago. Crap. How are we going to do this now, Joe? Hmm. Oh, I know Obama. How about we call the police station and ask if we can bail him out of jail? That's a great idea, Joe. I'm going to call them right now. All right, Obama. Hello? Is this the Fulton County Jail? Yes, it is. Who am I speaking to? Ben, since when are you working as a police officer? What is happening, Obama? Ben is working in the Fulton County Jail. Did you know that, Joe? Wait, what? Really? Ask him why. Ben, why are you working there? Well, you see, Obama, I'm no longer featured in the shorts, so I don't get any money. And I found this job so I can have a roof over my head. Oh, I'm sorry, Ben. I didn't know it. By the way, is Trump in one of your jail cells? Yes. Wait a minute. Hey, Trump, you have a phone call from Obama. Obama, please let me out. Calm down, Trump. Can you give the phone back to Ben? Please, Obama, do something. I'm scared. Hey, Ben, how much do we have to pay to bail out Trump? Let me see. That will be $420,000.69. Are you insane, Ben? No, Obama. So will you pay or not? Fine, Ben. You won. All right. See you at the police department. One hour later. Hello once again, viewers. Sorry for that. I would like to apologize for Trump's actions. Is that right, Trump? Yes, I would like to apologize to every single body. The system is rigged. They arrested me for no reason. Okay, thank you, Trump. So boys, today we're gonna to predict the 2023-24 UEFA Champions League. Are you excited, Trump and Joe? Hell yeah, Obama. Yeah, what Joe said. What are we predicting this time, Obama? Today we are gonna to predict who is gonna be at the top in the group stages. All right, Obama, give it to me. Which group shall we start? I'm thinking we should go from group A to group H. Sounds good, Obama. Tell us who is in Group A. Wait, let me turn on the TV. Order, starting with Group A, we'll have Bayern Munich, Manchester United, Copenhagen, and Galatasaray. All right, as you can see in Group A, we have Bayern, Manchester United, Copenhagen, and Galatasaray. Very interesting. Here is my prediction. Bayern will be on top. I cannot see them losing to any of these teams. They are currently 31 games unbeaten in the group stages. They have 28 wins and three draws. Okay, so from what I'm hearing, Bayern will be on top. What about the other teams, Trump? Look, Obama, the first will be Bayern, the second will be Manchester United, the third will be Galatasaray, and the last will be Copenhagen. I completely disagree with you, Trump. Did you hear yourself? You put Manchester United in second place. First of all, all of their important defenders are injured, like Martinez, Lindelof, and Rafael Varane. I don't get it, Joe. What is your point? Exactly, Obama. Joe, what are you trying to say? Oh, my fucking God! Am I the idiot? That means Harry Maguire and Johnny Evans will play central defenders. Ooh, now I got it. Sorry, Joe, I was completely lost on what were you trying to say? Listen carefully, Obama and Trump, here is my prediction. Bayern will be on top, then it will be Galatasaray in second, third will be Manchester United, and in the last place it will be Copenhagen. All right, Joe, I think some viewers will agree what you said, but here's my prediction. Bayern, Manchester United, Galatasaray, and in the last place, Copenhagen. Obama, can we go into the next group? Yes, we can, Trumpy boy. Pay attention to the TV. In B, it's Sevilla, Arsenal, PSV, Eindhoven, and Lens. In group B, we have Sevilla, Arsenal, PSV, and Lens. Bruh, this looks like a Europa League group stage, not a Champions League. I hate to say it, but I agree with Trump on this one. Okay, now we know which teams are in group B, but we do not know which team will be on top. So what do you think, Trump? I mean, if Arsenal doesn't finish on top, then they better stay out of the Champions League for another seven years. So we all agree that Arsenal will finish on top of their group? Yes, Obama. What about you, Joe? I also agree that Arsenal will finish on top. Let's go the Gunners. Yo, Obama and Joe, listen to me for a second. Here's my prediction. Arsenal will be first. They have the better squad out of all of the teams in this group. Second will be Sevilla. Third will be PSV, and last will be Lens, just because they sold all of their best players. Not a bad prediction, Trump. What do you think, Joe? I almost agree with Trump's prediction. Here is my take. I think Arsenal will be on top, but Sevilla will not be second. Second will be PSV, just because Sevilla will try to get the third place so they can play once again in the Europa League and win the whole tournament again. Basically, what I'm trying to say is Arsenal first, PSV second, Sevilla third, and Lens last. Now that you mentioned Sevilla and Europa League, I have to go with Joe's prediction. Oh my God, you two are both wrong. You will see it in the next couple of months. Anyways, let's see the next group, Group C. 
In Group C, we have Napoli, Real Madrid, Sporting Club Braga, and Union Berlin. As you can see, in Group C, we have Real Madrid, Napoli, Braga, and Union Berlin. That is a very interesting group. Here are my thoughts. I think Real Madrid will be on top. They do, however, have some injury problems like Thibaut Courtois and Vinny Jr. But I still think that they will have no problems being first, second place for me is Napoli, a good team, some players left, especially Kim Min Jae. But they still have Victor Osimhen, Kavicha Kavaratskalia, and so on. In third place, I would put Union Berlin, a debut for them in the Champions League. They definitely have good players in this season, like Robin Gosens, Kevin Voland, Leonardo Bonucci. And in the last place, I would put Braga, no disrespect towards Braga, but this is a hard group for them. Bro just explained the whole Bible verse. Here is my short prediction. First, Real Madrid, second, Napoli, third, Union Berlin, and last, Braga. You two both are basic and boring. Let me spice this up a bit. I will put Napoli first, Real Madrid second, Braga third, and Union Berlin last. How about that? Bro lost his mind in jail. All right, boys, let's move into the next group. After that horrible take by Trump, let's see Group D. And in D, it's Benfica, Internazionale Milano, Salzburg, and Real Sociedad. As you can see, in Group D, we have Benfica, Inter Milan, RB Salzburg, and Real Sociedad. That is quite a balanced group. Nobody is standing out. Listen, Obama and Joe, here is my prediction. In my opinion, Benfica will be first, second will be Inter Milan, third will be Real Sociedad, and in last place, it will be RB Salzburg. What do you think, Joe? Do you agree with Trump? I agree to a certain extent. I would put Inter Milan on top and Benfica in second. But I completely agree with Trump on the third and last place. I think Real Sociedad will try to aim for the third place so they can play against Manchester United in the Europa League in round of 32. And RB Salzburg is last just because they sold their best players. And even the manager, one player's name comes on my mind, and that is Benjamin Sesco. What a player. Not a bad prediction, Joe. I think between you two, I will go for Trump's prediction. So first place, Benfica. Second place, Inter Milan. Third place, Real Sociedad. And the last place, RB Salzburg. In Group E, it's Feyenoord, Club Atletico de Madrid, Lazio, and Celtic. As you can see, in Group E, we have Feyenoord, Atletico Madrid, Lazio, and Celtic. Let's get this out of the way. As a Glasgow Rangers fan, Celtic will finish at the bottom. Screw you, Obama. And your bankrupt club, we are way better than you. Guys, chill for a second. I will start my prediction before you two kill each other. Here is my prediction. I think in first place it will be Atletico Madrid. Overall, the quality is better than rest of the other teams here. Second place is Feyenoord. Third place is Lazio. And last place is Celtic. Sorry, Joe, but this is the truth. Well said, Trump. Couldn't say any better than myself. I would put Atletico Madrid first, Lazio second, Feyenoord third, and in last place, that stinky-ass club called Cell Tick. Oh, yeah, Obama. At least Cell Tick is playing in the Champions League, unlike your bankrupt ass, which is playing in the Europa League. Calm down, Joe. Before you get a brain aneurysm, here is my prediction. Cell Tick first, Atletico Madrid second, Feyenoord third, and Lazio last. All right, let's go into the next Champions League group, Group F, or more known as the Group of Death. Paris Saint-Germain, Borussia Dortmund, AC Milan, and Newcastle United. As you can see in Group F, we have Paris Saint-Germain, Borussia Dortmund, AC Milan, and Newcastle United. This truly is a group of death, I'm not going to lie. This is the hardest group to predict, but I will try my best. I will put PSG first, second AC Milan, third Borussia Dortmund, and last Newcastle. And what is your reason, Trump? I have no reason. My gut is telling me that. Joe, please tell me that you have a better take on this than that orange-looking Oompa Loompa. Don't worry, Obama. I got you. I will base this club's on their recent form. First, we have PSG. So in five games, they draw two, won two, and lost one. Not the best. Then we have Borussia Dortmund. In four games, they won two games and drew two games. Then we have Newcastle. In five games, they lost three times, won two times. Very poor form. And lastly, we have AC Milan. In four games, they won three times and lost just one game. So my prediction is AC Milan first, PSG second, Borussia Dortmund third, and Newcastle last. Not a bad prediction, Joe. There were a lot of informations, but here is my take. PSG first, AC Milan second, Newcastle third, and Borussia Dortmund last. Shall we move on into the next Champions League group, Obama? Sure thing, Trump. Let's see who is in Group G. Group G, it's Manchester City, the champions, Leipzig, Sverna Zvezda, and Young Boys. You know what they say is infinite. The universe, math, and Manchester City getting an easy group draw in the Champions League. Couldn't agree with you more, Obama. 
Let's get this out of the way. Manchester City first, RB Leipzig second, Young Boys third, and Red Star Belgrade last. Did somebody just said Young Boys? Where? Calm down, Joe, before the police take you instead of Trump anyways. Here is my prediction. Manchester City first, RB Leipzig second, Red Star Belgrade third, and Young Boys last. Young Boys will be first. Yes, Young Boys, I love them. All the players. Jesus Christ, let's watch the last Champions League group, Group H. And in Group H, it's Barcelona, Porto, Shakhtar Donetsk, and Royal Antwerp. I swear to God Almighty, if Barcelona doesn't finish this group at the top, then they better stay away out of the Champions League forever. Hey, yo, don't diss my club like that. We will finish at the top. Here's my prediction. Barcelona first, Porto second, Shakhtar third, and Antwerp last. You are not going to finish at the top. Here's my prediction. Porto first, Barcelona second, Shakhtar third, and Antwerp last. Same old Trumpy boy, delusional as hell. What is your prediction, Joe? I think Barcelona will be first, then Porto second, Antwerp third, and Shakhtar last. Thank you once again, Joe and Trump, for being here. If you enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.